Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Lawn Fawn recently released this adorable set called Dandy Day. I rarely ever color images, but I couldn't resist purchasing this set. The little mice are so sweet with all of the dandelions, and the images are simple enough that even I can handle coloring them once in a while. So I purchased the stamp set and the coordinating dies, and then I had to purchase the six by six paper pad. There are 36 sheets included. These are single-sided, 12 different designs, and they're all dandelion backgrounds. And I did miss showing that last sheet. It's just a lighter color of the purple. I've already gone ahead and stamped and colored all of the images. I just put them in my Mini Misty, inked them up with some Lawn Fawn ink, and then colored them with my Copic markers. And I just do a very basic coloring without any shading. So I've used the coordinating dies and cut out all of the pieces. And I won't be using all of them, but I wanna have them all on hand so I can decide what my scene will look like. I chose this teal color for the background. I have the darker color and then the lighter piece. I used a couple different stitch dies to cut out the pieces. I have the rectangle for the background and then a hexagon piece. And both of those are made by MFT. Then I used Lawn Fawn's little stitched hillside, cut out some grass. That way I have somewhere for my mice and my dandelions to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and layer all of this on some dark teal cardstock, just to add a little bit of contrast and it really pops everything. And then I'll adhere my card front onto a card base before I start assembling my scene. I always use a nice heavyweight cardstock and all of my cards are A2 in size. So now I can pull out all of these adorable little pieces and figure out how I'm gonna create my little scene. My favorite little mouse is the one that's gonna be floating in the sky holding onto the dandelion. And then I'm gonna have the mama and her little baby watching the whole scene. And then I wanted to add some of the other dandelions, the yellow ones in that lower corner. And I'll also have the one little mouse holding the dandelion and blowing all of those seeds off into the sky. I know so many parents dread when their kids blow all of those dandelion seeds in the yard, but I used to have my kids do it on purpose and I would take pictures since I love their little faces when they're blowing those seeds and it's fun to capture the seeds just suspended in the air. Both of my kids are getting older and are not quite as interested in blowing those seeds anymore. So now that I've decided how I want to do my scene, I can go ahead and start adhering everything down. Some of the pieces I'll adhere just using some liquid adhesive and then others I decided to pop up using some thin foam squares. On these tiny little pieces with just the seeds, a little harder to adhere. I ended up dropping one of them at one point. I probably should have grabbed a little jewel picker. Would have been helpful, but I thought I could handle it this time. When I was coloring the images, I actually did two sets. Couldn't decide on the colors at first. And for the seeds, I did put a light yellow behind them, and I didn't like that at all. So this set has just stamped with the black ink and then white in the background. For this sentiment, I stamped out two different sayings. The first one is, I think you're dandy. And then I'm adding the second piece that has, and I'm not lion. And I just put those on some white cardstock and trimmed them out. Decided not to add any little banners. I like the way they looked. And then just to finish off this card, I'm gonna add a few little embellishments. I used one of Lawn Fawn's die sets to cut out these clouds, and this is using their pixie dust glitter paper in the white. So I have three different clouds. I adhered that first one down using some liquid adhesive, and then I'm gonna pop up this second cloud that's gonna be layered on top. And then I snipped off the left-hand side to have it going off of the scene, and then I'm doing the same with the cloud on the right. I'll just adhere both of those in place and it adds just a really pretty sparkle. And then I pulled out my Winka Stella pen. This is the clear color and I'm just adding some little touches of glitter to all of the dandelions. So I'll put it on the tiny little seeds and then the one the mouse is holding. 
And then just one final touch, I'm using Nouveau's Glitter Drop. This is the white blizzard color. It's one of my favorites. And I'm just putting a drop in the center of the two dandelions. And I was debating about adding some more throughout the sky, but changed my mind. So there is my finished card, and I just love how this turned out. I know this is not my normal style of card making, but every once in a while you have to do something just a little different. I do have links provided in the description box below if you are interested in any of the products. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.